Facing an illness that would ultimately take his life, lyricist Richard Smith wrote what he believed was his best work. Hi, I'm Drew, and this is the story behind the Christmas hit, Winter Wonderland. Behind the Christmas Hits with Drew Savage. Winter Wonderland is rare among Christmas songs in that it's one of the most famous, but there's no real consensus on whose version is the definitive version. Perry Como made it a top 10 hit, Ella Fitzgerald reimagined it with a jazz flavor, and the Eurythmics gave it an 80s new wave vibe, but which is the definitive version? It's less clear than, say, Bing Crosby's White Christmas or Blue Christmas from Elvis Presley, so let's go back and explore the origins of the lyrics themselves. Written in 1934 by lyricist Richard Smith and composer Felix Bernard, the landscape that inspired that original winter wonderland was the town of Honesdale, Pennsylvania, 51 kilometers northeast of Scranton and home of the first commercial steam locomotive run on rails in the United States. It's a small town, only 41 people live there now, let alone back in 1934. The lyrics come from a beautiful moment experienced by a man ravaged with a terrible illness. Richard Smith was just 33 and seeking treatment for tuberculosis in Scranton. He opened the window in his room and what he saw reminded him of the winter scenes in Honesdale Central Park, the park across the street from the house he grew up in. A half dozen kids were playing in the snow. They had a snowball fight and built a snowman. Smith watched for over an hour until the sun started to set and the kids went home. He picked up a pencil, wrote down what he had seen, and expanded those thoughts with memories of his own youth and some about young love. A few hours later, he had what he thought was a poem and what he thought was his very best work. Richard recovered enough for a time that he was able to leave the hospital and reunited with his friend and professional piano player, Felix Bernard. Felix knew this poem was something special, and if he could find the right melody, they might be able to attract a major act to record it. And that it did. Later in 1934, the Richard Himber Orchestra recorded it, but that wasn't the first hit version. Canada's Guy Lombardo heard the Himber recording and was instantly taken back to his own childhood in London, Ontario. He and his Royal Canadians immediately recorded their own version of the song, which was released by Decca Records that December and peaked at number two on the pop charts. Hearing Guy Lombardo, a band leader with over 70 hits, record his song and make it a hit, gave Smith the feeling that he would have a legacy after his time here was over. Richard Smith died less than a year later on his 34th birthday, September 29th, 1935. Thanks for joining us. Hit subscribe for more stories and videos behind the Christmas hits. Tomorrow, the first rock and roll Christmas song and the lawsuits that followed it. It's the story of Jingle Bell Rock.